Hello and welcome back to the 24th episode of this Final Fantasy X HD Remaster playthrough. Mr. Rin's shops are all over Spira. They are quite convenient when you're on the road. So we've loaded in at the Meehan High Road Agency. This might be the last time we can rest like this. Shalinda. I've heard that the proprietor, Mr. Rin, is in Albed. But I was very relieved to find that he keeps nothing sacrilegious here. Welcome to Rin's travel agency. Um, got any items? Oh yeah. We're good for now. So I'm gonna actually have a look at our equipment and make any necessary changes to get better performance with our characters in battle. So Lulu's got a Seeker's Bangle. We'll change that to an Echo Ring for Yuna. And definitely want to use that Hunter's Spear because it has three abilities. We'll just keep that. Keep that. Okay. That sunset was different from the one I saw in Kilika. It was quiet, almost gentle. What you up to? <sighs> Pretty. Sure is. I wish I could live in a place like this. Peaceful. Living with a smile on my face every day. You can, once you beat Sin, right? <laughs> but then, a new Sin will be born anyway. Well, then you can just beat it again. I wish I could. Hey, you can. Trust me, you are the best summoner out there. Yuna, why does Sin always come back? Sin is our punishment for our vanity. And it will not go away until we've atoned. How do we do that? Mm. What did we do that was so bad in the first place? Ah. Was it using lots of machina or something? Oh, wait, was that such a bad thing, really? Uh, it's funny. Hmm? Ever since I was young, I never questioned it. But now that you ask me if it is that bad or not, I don't know. There are so many things I don't know. Well, then we're the same. Such thinking is very unbecoming of a summoner. Sound like Micah? <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice, you know. You know, during a game, you have to think of Blitz and nothing else, you know? Okay. Mmm. Ah. Oh. You can't think, that's a cute girl in the fifth seat from the right. 
And you can't be thinking about where you're gonna go on that date, because the minute you do, that's when you lose. You see, uh, Yuna, what I mean is, you really shouldn't worry, you know? After we beat Sin, that's when you can worry about the future. I guess. But Yuna, how are you supposed to beat something big like that? The final summoning. It's the only way to defeat Sin. The only way. With it, we can call the final Aeon. That's the goal of the pilgrimage. The faith of the final summoning lies waiting in the far north to greet summoners that complete their pilgrimage. At the world's edge in Xanarkand. In Xanarkand? <sighs> she means the ruins of a city destroyed a thousand years ago. You sure it's ruins? That's what I've heard. You'll see it for yourself soon enough. Yuna, come back inside. You will go with us, to Xanarkand? Yeah, I'll go. <laughs> I'll go to Xanarkand, to see it with my own eyes. I knew it couldn't be my Xanarkin, but I had to make sure. Was so vain, Spiro. Oh, Titus is taking another nap. First thing we want to do is recruit Rop here for our Blitzball team, the Besaid Oryx for about five games as a trial. Oh. Cool, obtained a level one key sphere. We actually needed another one, so that works out well. We should be okay. Binta Sa. Sorry? Ah, uh, forgive me, sir. I meant to say pardon me, but it came out in El Bed. Oh, you're in El Bed. Mm hmm. I am Rin, owner of this establishment. Hello, Dusadwi. Huh? It means nice to meet you. Ah, well, uh, Heli Dusadwi to you too. Mm hmm. If you are interested, L-Bed primers can be found all over Spira. Finding them and learning our language might be fun. Here, let me give you one in commemoration of our meeting. Although you might want to be careful where you speak our language. Cool. Rin just gave us now bed primer volume 8. The R letter in our bed is translated to H in English. Yeah, I hear our bed aren't liked much. <laughs> oh, uh, sorry. <sighs> A decky Krisa. Ah! Someone help! The Chocobos! That's our cue. Let's go. Huh? Oh, thank you for your help. Please, use this. Obtained two mega potion from Rin. Thanks, guy. Huh? Anything else? It is a ferocious beast. Be prepared. Okay. 
hope that there's the our bed compilations for you but we haven't got data to transfer all right where's this fiend boss to the chocobo corral That little boy. Okay, let's uh. Try and get the fire element here. Ah! Oh my god. This chocobo eater is no joke. Attack now! Push it back! A squirrel caught it. Might actually quickly extract ability yeah. if it'll let me. Okay. So get Lulu back out here. Perform Fury. enough to maintain control, I hope, or maybe use Q on the floor. Oh, I'll call them a bad attack line up. <laughs>
Oh, cool. Vanquished. Have you an interest in renting some chocobos? Yes, As a sir. token of our gratitude, the first time is free of charge. Please, ask the attendant if you wish to rent. Thank you so much for saving the chocobos. Or right, I think we might take the chocobo out for a spin. No charge this time. And what we're going to do, we're going to look for chocobo feathers on the Meehan High Road and the Old Road. I think there's about three from memory. And then we'll head back to Rin's Travel Agency. Call it a day. Also, using the chocobo prevents fiend encounters. But we want to come back and actually do some to get experience. And there's the feather there, yellow feather. And then it automatically allows you to jump out of bounds to a chest. Obtained heat lance. This one there. I think we may have missed one. We already checked that one there, so let's have a look over here. Oh, there. Obtain Thunder Blade and out in those two chests so that's about all the use of the chocobo in this section There's a choker going to the ride. Right. Oh, right. So there's a traveler's save sphere. I hope you enjoyed this episode. 
and I'll see you on the next.